narrowing down my top 10 favorite kills of the entire franchise. Obviously, Jason has killed over 200 people, and there's been other people killing people in these movies also. So there's a lot of death, a lot of carnage, a lot of destruction. So I'm going to break down for you my top 10 favorite kills in the entire Friday the 13th franchise. Now, at my number 10, I'm going to go with the flaming machete kill from Freddy vs. Jason. I don't hear about people talking about this one very often, but it's always one that stood out to me. And I think it's awesome because it's very quick. It's very efficient. This dude in the cornfield lights Jason on fire. Jason follows him through the cornfield, igniting everything on fire. And then as the guy tries to get away... Jason just throws his flaming machete through the air and hits this guy right through the chest with pinpoint accuracy. It's fantastic. My number nine is also another one I don't hear people talk about very often, but it's the heart ripped out kill from Friday the 13th part six. I think it's a great showcase to show just how much stronger Jason has become. It's also Jason's official first kill after being resurrected. Tommy Jarvis's friend that he brings along to the cemetery with him does not get to leave the cemetery with him as Jason just pumps punches a hole through the guy's chest and rips his heart out on the other side. My number eight kill is not going to be from Jason at all, but actually from Alice from the original film. Her beheading and killing Mrs. Voorhees setting into motion the entire franchise and is the catalyst for bringing Jason back and starting his wrath of carnage throughout the entire Crystal Lake area. It's the demise of a very prominent and very important character with Mrs. Voorhees and just seeing Alice rise up, grab that machete and chop this old lady's head off. It's an amazing feat to see and I think definitely deserves a spot on this list. My number seven kill I can't really show you guys again because it is the kill from Jason goes to hell with the campers in the tent and Jason in somebody else's body shoving a metal pole through this woman's stomach and then ripping the pole up slicing her entire body in half vertically it's insane it's gory as hell it's an amazing kill I just wish I could show you guys number six kill is also going to be from the original Friday the 13th so this would be Mrs. Voorhees as the killer and it's the Kevin Bacon arrow through the neck kill this one is extremely classic and pretty much goes here because of its definitive nature as being one of the most authentic and iconic kills of the whole franchise. The special effects at the time were great, and this is just one that everybody remembers. Everybody remembers Kevin Bacon getting killed. It's the most famous kill, I think, of the original movie, and I think it definitely deserves to have a spot on the top 10 list. My number five kill has to be the cryogenically frozen face from Jason X. Yes, this one is amazing. It's iconic. What more can you say about it? Jason freezes her face and then smashes it on the counter. And that's all you need to know. My number four pick is going to be the bed kill from Freddy versus Jason. This one is just absolutely brutal. Jason stabbing this guy in the back over and over and over again, but he doesn't stop there. He grabs both sides of the bed and crushes it together, sandwiching the guy in half, and it just looks so incredibly powerful painful. I love it. At the number three spot, this has to be the sleeping bag kill. Even though all of the slams of the sleeping bag were edited out except for one, it still stands the test of time and is an extremely memorable kill that everybody will always remember for the entirety of however long the Friday the 13th series lasts. It's something that stands out, it's unique, it's fun, and a pretty good way to do away with your enemies. My number two pick is just for the pure absurdity of it, and this is where Jason punches the guy's head off in <laughs> Jason Takes Manhattan. Probably the only thing about the movie that I really love. Every single time I watch it, I laugh my ass off. It's just so over the top, it's so ridiculous, it's so cheesy and corny, but that's kind of why I love it. And my number one kill is going to be the machete to the face to the guy in the wheelchair from Friday the 13th Part 2. This is not because I hate cripples, I swear. It's just because this moment is so abrupt and feels so brutal. Plus, this guy is just waiting for the cutest girl in the movie to come and, like, hang out with him and hopefully get laid. And then all of a sudden, there's just a machete to his face. And then it shows the entire process of him falling down the steps. And it is so tragic, so brutal. And for me, it's just a kill that I'm always going to remember, not just for Friday the 13th, but in all horror franchises. Insane. 